Within previous versions of Studio One, we had the ability to transpose our individual MIDI parts and audio events. So I come to a MIDI part here and right click on this one particular event. We can see that we have transpose here. And if I come to our audio event here, we also have transpose, which is in semitones. We then have tuning here, which will be in sense. Now we can not only do this by an event by event basis, but if we come over to our inspector, let's pull this up a bit here. This is for an instrument track for our MIDI. We can see that we have a transpose, which will apply to all of the parts on our instrument track. We'll pull that back down. And then if I come to our audio track here, and we can see down at the bottom, we have transpose in semitones, and then we have tune in sense here, which will apply to all events on this track. So those have been in existence for some time now, but we now within the transport area down at the bottom, we have a global transpose. So of course, this is gonna be on zero by default, and we'll go ahead and take a quick listen to this track as it is now, and then we'll take a look at this feature. So let's go ahead and play this back. Okay, so I just wanted to let that play for a second so our ears can get used to how that sounds, the pitch as it is. And then now we'll come down to our transpose here and we have the ability to transpose plus or minus 12 semitones. So one octave up or down. I'm gonna go ahead and just click once to be sure this is highlighted and I'm gonna transpose this up by three semitones. Let's press enter to accept that. And then we'll go ahead and play this back and hear how it sounds. Okay, so we can hear that change, but our drums are messed up and typically we won't want to transpose our drums. So we have the option to determine track by track, which will be affected by the three semitone transposition that I input here. So let's go ahead and play this back and then I'm gonna go track by track and go to our inspector and we have this follow global transpose. We can see plus three semitones and a check mark next to that. This is for our drum track. So I'm gonna go ahead and deselect some of the tracks maybe that we don't want to be transposed here. So we'll go ahead and play back. Our drums, let's deselect that. Okay, so that's corrected. Maybe not this, this perk here. And maybe not our shaker bells. Okay, now if we want to, if we're not happy with the results and we just want to take everything back to as it was, then as you can imagine, we can just come to our transpose, click once, I'll go ahead and put in zero, press enter to accept that, and then now. Okay, we are back to our original setting. Now, there's one thing that I'd like to mention that can be a little bit confusing and we'll go ahead and put this back to three. Let's press enter. Okay, now that's back to as it was. And if we were to right click here in the transpose area, we have freeze global transposition. Now, when I click on this, that's gonna take our transpose back to zero. 
But if I play this back, Okay, we can see that we can hear that some of these are still being transposed to that plus three semitones. But if we come over to the inspector and take a look at follow global transpose, we don't see that plus three here. Uh, but it still remains even when we apply that freeze. So when we right click here and choose to freeze the global transposition, what this is gonna do is just reset the transpose back to the default of zero but it's going to keep that plus three semitone transposition, transposition on the tracks that you applied it to. So I just wanted to make it very clear that even though this says zero, after we click on the freeze, freeze global transition, it is going to keep that plus three semitones and apply that to the tracks, even though this goes back to zero. If you want things to go back to as they were before, then you either need to deselect the follow global transpose if you've made a change here, or you just need to change this back to zero. And just to reiterate this point again, I'm gonna go ahead and let's put in five and do something really extreme. I'll press enter. Let's come back here and play this back. <laughs> Okay, now let's come here and right click and freeze global transposition. Okay, now that's back to zero. You may think that it's gonna go back to as it was, but. But that freeze does not change the transposition that we put in here. It just simply takes this back to zero. So you could in theory, keep on going up and up and up, freeze it, and then you're gonna keep transposing your MIDI and audio as high as you would like to go. So I just wanna re reiterate the point that if you wanna take your song back to its original, you need to manually come here and then put in zero to take it back to the default. The freeze is simply resetting this back to zero while keeping the transposition on the individual tracks that you chose to put it on or apply it to. And actually let's right click on this audio event here and we can see that this says transpose and tune is set to zero here. Um, and if we come to a MIDI event here, the transpose is zero, but it's still retaining that change when you make use of the freeze. So it's just something to be aware of when you're making use of this new feature. Okay, so we'll go ahead and wrap up here. And I just wanted to mention that if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one training to speed up your learning curve in Studio One, I do provide that via Zoom. So if you're interested in finding out more about that, check out the pinned comment below or the description of this video. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.